All right, how are you doing? I'm out in the garden, it's dark. And uh, yeah, it's a bit of a mad one, this. I'm up, I'm not scaring you too much. But yeah, I've just put up a 20 meter delta loop and uh, I'm gonna see what it sounds like. So it's made out of wire and I've strung it, up, strung it up basically in the trees. But yeah, you're not gonna be able to see much, obviously. It's just running low on the ground, the bottom part of the element. And then the termination point is just there where I've got a, a homemade little uh, chalk on there. Just temporarily, I'm going to tune it up properly uh, when I get a bit more time. But it pegs off onto the uh, pole just over there, if you can slightly make it out. That's where my dipole, my 80 meter dipole terminates. So it's just fixed to the bottom there, and then it goes up, up, up to these trees, but you can't really see much because it's too dark. But it's up in the top of the trees up there, I'm trying to take my word for it. And then down here, uh, it runs along, which you're not going to be able to see much. But you'll be able to see where I've terminated it. But the main part is I'm going to show you what it sounds like on the radio in a sec. So I've just got it fixed, a little anchor point on an old flexible, um, like telescopic. This torch has seen better days, like telescopic uh, tent pole. So it's got a bit of give. So you can see the angle going up uh, there. If I shine a torch, that's going up, and that's heading up there into the tree, into the darkness. So it's sounding good anyway, I can hear it from here already. I've got it plugged into my FT890, a little uh, tuner and um, a 30 amp power supply unit. So I've just moved it into the music area of my dining room so I can uh, play a bit of radio when I get kicked off of the uh, big station. So I just thought I'd try it out anyway, let's have a look. Yeah, so a few records. This is the music area, quickly. I've got some turntables and um, original amplifiers and, and graphics and a couple of um, nice bins as well in fact all kind of mishmash to tell you the truth but right now this is where I've sneaked it in it's just in the record cubicle taking a few records out vinyl and we sneaked in the uh, Yesu FT890 and the little uh, MFG tuner which I got imported from stateside and I've got it on my little stainless Yesu stand so that's a 300 watt tuner and this is a 100 watt radio which I bought back in 2001 or 2 and I've been using it ever since. Great radio. So the ASU FT890 in its glory fits nicely in the uh, record cubicle. Just got it on the stainless stand to raise it to the perfect height. Below is the MFJ, uh, let's have a look, 969 manual tuner roller inductor had that for a number of years imported it from stateside actually worked out a little bit cheaper back then and uh, obviously the radio that's what my first hf radio that's the ft890 from yesu brilliant piece of kit currently plugged into the homemade uh, delta loop intended for 20 meters but right now it's a little bit longer so it's kind of a little bit multi-banded at the minute we'll say i'm just tuning it it's about an SWR of uh, two on this band. So we've just brought it down with the uh, manual tuner. And it seems to be pulling in the station from Ireland pretty nicely, although I can't hear who he's talking to. I'll just take a quick flick, flick around. I'm not going to be transmitting tonight. I'm going to tune it up properly first. So a nice signal from uh, Orkney Islands, the, uh, 25 uh, the dB so, from yeah, Jeff. Well, um, good luck with, uh, with everything. Uh, uh, with regard to the uh, EME, uh, what, uh, what uh, power do you be? Have you got an amp for the EME? It's kind of touching plus 40 anyway, so kind of looking in his direction is the antenna. So yeah, I like the uh, sound of the Delta Loop, they always have low noise level. Incidentally, this is the original microphone that comes with the 890, uh, the original Yesu mic, it's the uh, MH1B8. So yeah, I had this a number of years as well, still in good order. Um, 
as you can see, it's full work and function, well, it's perfect. So yeah, they've got a good receiver, these Delta Loop antennas. So very nice uh, reception. And just to give you a quick uh, whistle, so you can check out the SWR. Four, four, four. So yeah, a little bit of movement there, but workable. So that's on the tune band. I'm just going to put it on the bypass. So yeah, the, the reception on that band's good. The, this band's died off a bit tonight. In fact, I'm just going to attenuate it slightly, a little bit of noise. So yeah, I'm not transmitting tonight guys, because I've got to alter the length of the antenna. It will tune up obviously, but uh, I don't really want to mess about, I'm just demonstrating the receive of it at the moment. And I'll do a next video once I've tuned it, I'll show you it properly in the daylight. It costs about, well, the price of a dipole centre, I may change that, I've got a 4 to 1 ballon. I'm thinking about putting that in. I just wanted to get something up quickly. And yeah, the band's dead tonight. So we're picking up a bit of state side on it. I'd say the band's not great today. Not at this time, it's, it's evening now. Around about coming up to nine o'clock in the evening, local time. So nothing uh, to write home about on 20. Bit of noise if anything. on that particular frequency. Okay, That's a nice signal from Cyprus. Thank you, 73, 5, Bravo 4, Alpha, Japan, Charlie. Uh, the Kelowna bus could help take, go ahead. So Cyprus, nice signal. I could give it a go. Thank you, Ray. Bye bye. Five Bravo Four Alpha Japan Charlie. Mike Zero Yankee Kilo Sierra. So this is the Delta Loop antenna, slightly oversized, currently about 72 feet, probably wants to be about 67. Mike Zero, Yankee, Kilo, Sierra. Mike Zero, Yankee, Kilo, Sierra. Alex, over. 
Thank you, Gary. And uh, 73 Alpha at 0 HHG, 5 Bravo 4 Alpha, Japan Charlie. Bye bye. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. Tango, Mike 4, Radio Mexico. Yeah, Whiskey 4, Radio Mike. I stand by, please. Whiskey 4, Radio Mexico. Good evening, 5 and 9 in Cyprus. The name is Alex, over. Yes, sir, no, Alex. The name is Bill Bravo, India, Lima, Lima, in North Carolina. You're about uh, 5915. Uh, good luck. Roger Beal, thank you. 73. Yeah, we got November 1. So this one here in the States on this guy's frequency. Just trying the RF game but not really helping. Mexico Zero, Yankee Kilo Sugar. So yeah, I won't really plan on making any shouts. You know what it's like. And you get the bug. So it's still sounding good for a classic. The FT890 from Yesu. Okay, I'll Roger, listen Roger, to the whole mid loop. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sugar. Good evening to our five and nine in Cyprus. The name is Alex. Over. Ah, thanks very much, Alex. Good evening to Cyprus. I'm just trying out a little portable antenna thrown up in the tree. It's a homemade Delta loop. Just put it up tonight. You're five nine plus twenty. Sounding great, Alex. Have a good night. Over. Thank you. Seventy three. Have a nice evening. Bye bye. Bye bye. So yeah, patience pays off. And now we're a pilot, I'm only running 100 watts, happy with that one. So, patience is a virtue, and uh, the homemade Delta Loop scene in action, not even resonant yet, properly tuned, that was just with the ATU trimming it up a little bit. 100 watts with the classic Yesu FT890, and I like that radio obviously. My first transceiver still working well for me, I'll have to uh, get a little bit better with the tuning up, I've not done it for a while, a little bit rusty. So uh, I can do a better job than that usually. But still, it worked out in the end. So it seems to be working great on 40 meters. I'm surprised just how nice it sounds. So we'll probably try that and uh, get a few contacts. Try that again. I can play as much as I want now when I've kicked out the shack and the uh, M7 ELC sat there generally uh, hogging the hot seat. Not always on the air, usually on the PC. But until we catch up again, thanks for uh, putting up with uh, my messing arounds. And uh, it started off a bit wet and cold with a few droplets as I was messing around with the tree but I think the uh, hard work paid off so that's Mark 3 Delta Loop Antenna like I said earlier made for some sort of wire about 3mm in diameter and it's um, coated plastic wire coated and the actual braid is stainless steel multi braided and pretty good stuff I use it for the uh, 4080 fan dipole and all the radials on my hustler so now in use for a uh, Delta Loop Antenna and stay tuned because I'm going to probably try out the 401 ballon on it. It's currently got a homemade choke. You probably couldn't really see that too well. I tried that choke previously on my last Delta Loop and that worked awesome. It worked perfectly for years. So the actual wire snapped in a heavy uh, storm recently. So that's why I decided to make a next one today. Put it in a different tree this time though. So slightly different direction. See how it goes. It seems to be okay in Cyprus. Catch you later.